If you can see your core program. Okay. So we've got the SWAT, all right? We've done the SWAT for your warm-up. So this is how you can incorporate your core stability into your, into your program. So we did the SWAT. So there's three different variations of the SWAT. Okay. If you don't have resistance balance, you get a football against the wall. All right. Then you get back into maybe the, the SWAT with the hands tied back or else then the overhead. So that's the variations again. They have to earn that right to progress. Okay. You decide as coaches go, right, you can progress. Okay, so we've done that one. Um, what's the next one then? Okay, so we've done our lunges. So again, our lunges with the arms back. Next version is onto the uh, bench, elevated lunge. Okay, and then split squat and core activation. You can't see that, but what that is, is when you're lunging down, you'll have your resistance bands. What we noticed with the development squad, especially, there was boys saying, ah, I can do press ups. And they got this here started straight away. Okay, we, we just wanted them to have everything going down and everything coming up at the same time. And, I, and we had more or less had to start against the wall, get them into the technique, and then the box, and then elevate it so they're taking the weight off. And then eventually, by then, someone were able to get down and do a full set of eight or ten good ones before tiredness started. And then they started arching the back, and then the shoulders come up, and then the hips. So, again, even with more older players, you know, a set of 20 proper clubs, press ups, is as good as 10 mediocre things that they could do the press ups, alright. So, and again, your, your work time, two seconds down and two seconds up. Instead of these here ones or everything. Okay, okay, we'll just uh, do the mic climbers. Okay, so we'll begin the push up position with your weight supported with your hands and toes. Flex the knee and hip, bring one leg until the knee is approximately under the hip and switch legs rapidly. Up we go. So that's your one, yeah? Yep. After a while, you'll start to see this and the knee doesn't come in as far. Okay, you want them. Again, flexibility comes into it. Someone might not be able to get the knee up, and it might come to here. Okay, that's a more straight gymnastic command, but you try and get them to do it nice and controlled that it comes in. Okay, but the, the assholes raise up. Okay, and they're keeping their core intact so that whenever you drop out, it's not going down. Okay, so it's in. Okay, and after a seven, you do feel it. From our back. Okay, for three seconds, then we'll do the Superman. Okay, so down and all fours in as well. Okay, so basically, you know, so, so 
we'll say right arm and left leg. Okay, we're hip, we'll go and switch over. Left arm and right leg. Okay. Right, now we get to be pretty good at that. Okay, you don't see what you might see is rotation of the boogie. Okay, so we sort of take that way or take that way trying to compensate. Okay, for that force stability. Okay. Um, okay, get into the press up position then for the next progression. Okay, see so if you can do it now. Even just do left arm up first. Well done. And right arm. Okay, see the bit of the body tilting there that side? Okay, so that's a bit weak on that side. Okay, so do your left arm and right leg. Well. You see these with compensations, bottom rises and then a wee bit of a tilt, okay, but again, she could progress on, she needs to work on that, okay, so left arm and right leg, well done, excellent, well done, okay, where are we at now, I'm confusing my own program, yep, so basically side plank, then the boot bridge, we've done that there again with our wobble. Okay. And lastly then, this is another, this is the walkout system we Right, excuse me.
that can be incorporated in 10 minutes at the end of the session. You have, if you have three or four resistance plan, have people doing them. Three or four maybe doing the bank and bridge work. Three or more, three or four doing the upper body stuff with the resistance plans and press ups. Right? And in 10 minutes you can get a good, a good workout. They'll be, they'll be blown out and they'll be feeling it at the end of it. Alright? It doesn't have to be real high intensity. If doing that stuff, a lot of them will be as quick as they can, but it's all about control, same in every, everything they're doing. Because you, you don't want jerking and stuff like that. But uh, like we, at the end of it, we found that the development squad boys, when we were doing it, by the second or third week, at the end of it, we were having to up the intensity with it. They were getting good at it, so we were after making the resistance higher and get, trying to get more reps in to get them more tired because they were adapting to it pretty really quickly. Alright, so it's easy, like you only need a few of these, a couple of resistance bands, and then the rest all the body weight. Um, Your is blue, 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 okay? You have a little net for a big wolf, but it's the same stores. Yeah. Um, and the blue ones, I mean, or the red ones. Red ones. And I think, what we think of the yards, the blue ones, I suppose, trying to get to the age where you start developing the yards, do you think for now is it's good to tell them more? Basically, just you coming down and say, just a wee game, it's having the two feet in line with the, the bone, just into that position there, and just relaxing down, and say, just, it's really opening up that, the claw leg, and it's just to get that stored off, to get that, um, I suppose, used to getting that activated. Um, sometimes, because it might find the start off the bones, it could really, really kill them, so I suppose just getting that wee movement and getting that built up, and now, I'm not sure if you're going to be in the classes. You're going to be in the classes. You're going to be in the classes.